So the idea of today's lesson is to understand better OBS. You're going to show me each of you how you can use OBS with your own equipment. And we have that idea of having a kind of monologue whereby we are the actor. Let's assume we are the actor. We are doing a monologue on stage. And then we can do teams of two people. One people can be the technician, the, the person using OBS. And then in the team, there can be a second team member who is more like the director. Uh, we could select, for example, the angles that he wants to appear on OBS. So of course, we might not need to, to talk so much as we are doing that monologue, meaning because the director is going to direct the um, person who is using OBS. So of course, it might be a bit confusing if, if you talk too much when you're going through the exercise. But uh, what I want to know is uh, who is having OBS right now, uh, which is set on his computer. I see Yasna has it. Boyana, you have it as well? Yes. Who else is having OBS set right now? Sorry, I'm late. I have OBS, but I'm connecting through Zoom. I don't know okay, how perfect. it is. Okay, I have. Sonia is here. So I see Andrew. Andrew, are you connected to OBS? Do you have OBS running right now on, on uh, one of your device? Ivan? No, 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 me. I don't have OBS run, running right now on my device. I'm using a phone. OK. What about Ivan? Yes. I don't have it at the moment. Maybe in uh, 10 or 15 minutes because I'm driving. But when I get home, I, I will open it. Sonia, uh, can you do you have it running on your laptop right now? Yes. Okay, so you need to uh, connect to activate um, your OBS through Zoom. So on Zoom, you click on video and you select your OB OBS virtual camera. And on your OBS, you activate your virtual camera. So as we see, we need to see you, yeah? All the people who are on OBS, we need to see them. So as we know who is using it right now. Are you about, Sonia, to be set? OK, so what I'm, uh, what I'm suggesting, we are going to start. So Boyana, uh, can you share your, um, your screen so as we see how your OBS is configured? OK, just tell me where to go so, for the so, sharing. So you, you need to share your screen. Right now, you're, you're using your virtual camera, which is very good. But first, before that, I want to see, um, or, you can, or you can switch to your different scenes. What scenes did you prepare for today? Do you have different angles of cameras? Yes, just a moment. OK. Yes. So is it possible for you to share your, your, um, your desktop? So as we see how your software is configured, so as we see the scenes you have, we see your preview, your program. 
Can you tell me, please, in the Zoom, where I have to go for sharing? So on Zoom, you have a button uh, where it's written share. Okay. You see it's on, yeah, you press on share and it's going to ask you, you're going to select for me yes. right now. Yeah, you see. So you're supposed to select your OBS. As you press okay. share, it's going to. OBS virtual camera is on yeah yeah i understand but you should have a button on your zoom do you see uh, my interface here yes on the upper left you see where okay. i am uh, move, moving my mouse there's this share thing you have to click on it share and then you have the options of the different windows that are that are active on your computer then you will select obs yes the moment so someone else is sharing oh, okay it's because okay let me see multiple participants Let me see. And I have the same problem. It says okay. something else. Mm -hmm. Can you um, can you share now? I I think I have enabled the multiple participants. I think now it 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 will work. See you, Sonia. Uh, Okay, Boyana, try now, Boyana. If you click on share, okay. Perfect. You were good. We started to see um, your interface of OBS. Okay, perfect. Super good. All right. So now you can enable your sound and explain to us what you have prepared and how your setup is. Okay. Uh, at the moment, I am uh, on scene two. I have a um, second camera uh, with yes. my profile. It's for a phone. Thank you, Innocent, for the application. Uh, and uh, the camera for, from laptop. I also input uh, text, in, if you yes. see. Yes. Okay, and I also put uh, media source. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you if you will hear it all, uh, view it as well because low maintenance system on my laptop. So I'm sorry in advance. Okay, now on your laptop, um, do you have a possibility of um, when you is it a Windows laptop? Uh, yes, Windows laptop. So on your on your power and sleep settings, sometimes you can decide that the computer is using uh, low battery settings or is using uh, high battery settings while it's plugged in. Sometimes the processor is not working full speed according to some of the settings. Okay, I know so, uh, that's why I have a problem with uh, audio. Okay. If I, I put a uh, second camera, laptop camera, OBS Studio, Zoom, it's too much application. But okay. uh, I don't know if you see what I'm uh, showing right now. Yes, we, 
we are showing we we are seeing very well your it is a bit slow but uh, we see your split screen with um, some animation somehow and the intro and the intro from da vinci resolve i okay. can uh... so now what you need to do it's good here in your scene too you have so many things that yeah that are activated right you have so many um, medias so you should create a scene where there is just your intro okay create a scene where you only have your intro and then a scene for example when where you have uh, your multicam and your logo because okay. if you have too many Yes, I know. I have too many uh, application open. Yes, too many layers right as well. Now, I will put only in my intro. So I see you have two media sources: media source, media source one. You need to only use one. Just a moment. And you might as well totally remove them off your scene because it might still be used by the processor. Okay. In scene one, it's only me. Okay. So. But I'm sorry, my laptop is not very good. So... No problem. So uh, you have one scene with your camera, with a single camera. You should have one scene with only your intro. Okay. And then one scene with your split screen. So you should have three scenes. Three scenes. Oh, just a moment. So create another scene where there is only your intro. That's one. Uh, I think it's good to rename them well, so you're going to rename it as a intro. Intro. Then uh, you can as well um, drag and drop that scene at the very up, so as it is the first scene that we see in in order. So, for example, you see you in your scene three. It should be return intro okay. instead of having seen on the left, on the left. Go back on the left. Okay. Yeah, this one should be named intro so as it's easier for your. Let, let's assume there's a director next to you who wants to tell you which, swing, which scene to switch to, to what, okay. and even for you to be more organized. So you switch that one up. Intro should be the first scene. Yeah. Then you will have uh, possibly your the scene we, whereby uh, there is only one camera that you can uh, name camera one. In one, you said. One camera, okay. So remove the, the ones that are not needed, yeah. I didn't hear you well, please repeat. I was saying in that scene, yeah, it's perfect now, you have removed it. So that scene could be renamed as well as camera one.
And then it's true what uh, Dragana is saying. You should have uh, the second angle. You should have camera two. Uh, the one of your phone, you should have camera two. Yes. And then after, you can create split screens on other scenes. Let me check uh, on the chat. Okay, intro, camera one, camera two. Uh, go through them again, sorry. Show me camera one. Intro, okay. camera one. Yeah. Camera two, you resize it full. Just a moment. That's it. And intro. Okay, so of course, camera one and camera two should fill the screen. So you're going to resize them so as they fill the screen. Except if you want to go into an aesthetic whereby you, you like to have uh, black around. Okay. So that could be the choice of the director or the creative or yourself. If you want to have borders, black borders, it could also work. But maybe we can fill them. And then for the split screen, you are going to decide to have these black borders. So I think you can fill them. Um, Fill the, fill the screen for these cameras, and then you're going to create split screens. For those who have um, their OBS open, you can, do sim you can do a similar setup. You can name the intro you have prepared or that you had already designed in the other lesson. And then you can put camera one, camera two, and then Add a scene which is called split screen. If I add scene, where I uh, go to have a split screen? So you're going to create a new scene, right? Create a new scene. OK. So that scene, you're going to name it split screen one or whatever the name you want, but let's, let's, have, let's have split screen, split screen one. Okay. On the top, on the bottom? I think bottom is better, but I mean, it, it, after all, this is, this is your choice, but so in split screen one, you're going to add a scene into that scene. And then it is an existing scene, add existing below, add okay. existing, and you put camera one. Okay. What else? Just camera one. Yeah. Uh, can you select both of them and? Uh, Camera one, camera two, and press OK. OK. Create another scene with camera two. No, 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 no. Create another scene in the split scene one. Console. Yes, exactly. Camera two. Yes, camera two. OK. OK. So now you arrange them the way you want the way you had done. Okay. So you can um, recreate what you had done, what we have seen on your right. It was nice to have um, the camera one in small, the camera two in small. So as we are not in your split screen, split scene, you're going to adjust now to have a, a nice composition as you did before. You must repeat it to me. I didn't hear very well. 
So you see what you have on your program out? What you had prepared for us? On your program out, you have uh, your two cameras and lab design. You're going to do the same thing here on your split scene one. Okay. So you resize Settings. both cameras. In camera one, I go on settings. No, you can just, just uh, right now, you, you, you can resize directly from your window, camera one. You can put it smaller. Yes? Yes. Uh-huh, put it smaller. Readjust, yes. Then you drag it where you want. Okay, that's, that's the way you want. But it should be a split screen, right? Camera one. So you see what, yeah. And then your camera too, you're going to, to resize it as well. Perfect. Now you see the way you had done it in your program output was more balanced because the scene, your, your, your camera, your profile camera was on the left of the screen and it was looking really good like that. So you can place them the same way as you had done in your program output. Like that. Perfect. Okay, I leave you continue. You're going to, you, you will uh, put also your lab design the way, same way you did. And then you can now uh, stop sharing your screen and we go to someone else. Okay, but I shared the problem for my intro. I don't know why. Because they. F first, uh, first white council, what you're doing? So in your intro scene, what do you have? That's it. Why are there two media sources? There should only be one, no? I know. So you can remove one of the two? Yes. OK. That's it. That's it. Show me again how you compose your split scene one. You can click on split scene one so as, I, so as we understand what you've done. You have camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two. Okay, click on, uh, on intro again, on the, your preview of intro. That's it. Okay, I understand. Okay, now you're going to uh, to cut to that to your intro. Do what you must repeat, please. So now, okay, now let's assume that the program is about to start. You have organized your scenes, okay, and you're working with a director who is going to direct you on which scenes to switch to. So remember, what the audience is, is seeing on internet, online, is basically your program output, right? It's what is written program on the, okay. on the right part of your scene, right? On the right okay. part of your, of your software, upper right window. Yes. So who is the director who is working with Boyana? Um, let's have Andrew working with Boyana. Andrew, are you ready? Uh, right now, I don't, I, I don't have a computer with me. So, so can you, can you, 
Now, what I want to say is uh, you and Boyana are working together. Okay. So the the idea is now you're going to tell her what to do. Let's assume okay. the program is about to start. Yeah. Okay. And you're going to tell her to switch from one scene to another one, and Boyana will do so. Can I start recording? Sorry. Or, or the director will tell me when to start recording. Exactly. That's the idea. That, okay. Andrew, you're going to direct that program, right? So we have a program which is a monologue which is starting up with an intro. And after the end of the intro, we are going to switch from camera one to camera two to split screen or whatever. You, it, it doesn't have to be that order, but Andrew, you're going to tell her what to do and she will do so. Can you hear me, Andrew? Andrew, okay, let, let's, let me do it with Boyana so as uh, maybe you would understand. Okay, okay let's, assume, let's assume the program. I, I'm going to count down the start of the program and when I will say action, you will start the intro of the program, Boyana, okay? okay. So in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, action. So now, what, what, what you were meant to do, Boyana, is you were meant to, your intro was meant to start on your program output. Right now, you started it on your preview, but it, it has not gone in your program. Do you see what you see in your program out on the upper right? You see, you see your split screen with lab design, but what we want to see on that program is your intro, only your intro. So you're going to click on your scenes, on your intro scene, on the left, your first scene intro, click on it. And then you are going to click on transition, in the middle between the preview and the program. Yes. Now you click again on your intro. Okay. So now, once you see that, uh, that circle in the middle next to filters, next to filters in the middle, yeah, next to the filters. Just next to filters, you were on filters. No, 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 no. Close, know, close, close. Close your filters. I close it. Yeah, yeah, close it. This is cancel. media source. Just cancel that. Okay. okay. I am saying that next to the icon filters, there is like a round with an arrow. Press on it. Okay. You see, now your intro is starting on your program. That's what we wanted you to do. That's the way it was meant to, to do, yeah? So your scene is loaded. So let's wait that it goes up to the end. Okay, so now let me redo the countdown and you're going to press on that icon. As I say, action. Now, once the intro is finished, before it finishes, I'm going to prompt you to cut to one of the other scenes, yeah? So, camera, camera, camera two, or the split screen, screen, screen. I, 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 I will just tell you before, so as we see how you react okay, to it. Okay, okay, you can start calm down. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, 
five, four, three, two, one, action. Now prepare your camera two. Camera two scene, click on it. Cut to camera two. Now try to cut to camera two on your program. Out. Now you've uh, you've not yet transited to your program. Yeah. So you were meant to now to transit to your camera two. You you didn't send it to the program. You see, you are still in the preview. So how are you going to transit from your intro to the next scene? You need to click on fade. As, as your other scene is loaded, either you click on fade, okay. either yeah. you slide to you slide to the yeah, left. Yes, so something. now let, let, let's let's redo the the intro. Okay. I will just count down in okay. Then now transit to camera two. Yes, you click on your preview first, and then cut to camera two. Again, you have not you have not switched in your program out. So you can click. You see, you can click on fade if you want to fade in between the two scenes. I Play again. Your in when I click on camera, I have two fades. Click on the click on the arrow. Click on the arrow next to the fade, and put okay. it on cuts. Put it on cuts. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now. Okay. Now you have different options. Either you cut from one scene to the other one, either you fade from one scene to the other one, either you fade to black, right? So let, well, let's restart. You launch your well, intro. I In must five. Ask something. Yes, wait, please. please. Time out. <laughs> I must ask uh, when I activate intro, then yes. I go to camera one. And I have in uh, property cut. You see my arrow in the program. Yes. But what is this fade and what is this fade to black and this fade to black? I have uh, two commands yeah. for fade to black. What do I do with it? No, you, you don't need the last fade to black. You can click on the arrow next to your last fade to black. And then okay. you can remove it. Okay. Yeah. Now, you see your fade to black here? You have a scene transition next to your audio mixer. It's written scene transition. You can increase your duration of your fade to black. Let's increase it a lot. Let's increase it to, let's say, 2000 ms. You can even type, type in like 2000. Okay, now 2000. This is 200, you add a zero. Add, add more zeros, put, put two more zeros, two zero zero, yeah, perfect. Now you're going to press on cut. Click on your fade to black down. Yes, then I no, 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 no. Sorry, it's here that you need to put two thousand. Put two thousand ms. Yes, perfect. Okay. Uh huh. And uh, okay, now you press on fade to black two thousand. Press on it, not on the arrow, but 
Don't not don't press on the arrow. Press on the left. Yeah, press on it. You see, it created like a smooth transition to black, right? Okay. So now, remember, on the left part, you have your preview. On the right part, you have your program. The preview is meant to preview the next scene that will come in your program. And the program is what the viewer is seeing. Okay. So let's start again. You're going to go from the intro to camera two. Yeah. Now you've seen your transition. You have cut, fade, and fade to black. So let's do the first, tra right. let's do some transitions which will be cut. One question, one more question. When yes, I please. start with intro and you tell me to go camera one or camera two or split screen, I do yes. not touch this uh, property or setting. I only touch camera one, camera two is split scene. Am I right? No, because, because the director can tell you cut, cut to camera two or can tell you fade to camera two or can tell you fade to black. So the, the thing is, as you're in your intro, your intro is playing back on your program out, right? Okay. The director will tell you next will be camera two. Then you will click on camera two. This okay. scene will appear on your preview. And then okay. the director will tell you cuts to camera two. Yes. Okay. Cuts to camera two. All right. Then prepare split scene one. Now fade to fade to split scene one. Okay, then fade to black. Okay, all right. So now let's uh, let's see who has his uh, OBS open. Thank you, Boyana. That was great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's see uh, who is ready. Who is ready next? We go with, with Yasna. Okay, let's say I'm ready. <laughs> I Can actually, um, I actually erased uh, all the information before this uh, today's session because I thought that we should um show how we do it from the scratch but now while boyana was working i was working with her and yes. i prepared something for this uh, short um, time so uh, i had also one question uh, when we have video that we want uh, want to show for example do we need to uh, to add um, an audio source for every video or uh, it is included somehow in the video when you um, uh, when you play video uh, shall we uh, automatically hear the sound or we shall import the sound for every media source no uh, let if, if you're doing that on YouTube or on any other platform, you can have your audio, which is part of your video source. If you play back uh, an, intro, an intro jingle with sound, one file with video and audio can, can be good. You don't need to separate them. But uh, okay. what, what I explained last time is, let's assume that you have a scene on stage uh, whereby there is need of showing what is happening on stage, but at the same time to play a sound design, which could be the ambient sound of a street or something that goes together with the scene, then that is where you will need your separate audio. Okay, 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 yes. Yeah. So whenever you have a separate audio that you want to use, like a background maybe or something like that, you should yeah. add audio. But uh, otherwise, not specifically for everything. OK, so I will share my screen now. OK. OK, so can you hear me, uh, see my screen? Yes, very well. 
Okay, so uh, actually I've prepared uh, now <laughs> while we were speaking uh, yes. these scenes and uh, I can show you what is inside of uh, all scenes. So specifically, I wanted to maybe introduce my kind of work. It's a presentation of the book. Uh, it's like uh, interdisciplinary performance. So I've prepared some of the the videos, some of the photographs. I also have some audios that I could use during this um, introduction, let's say, that are separate uh, to to this. And mm -hmm. um, uh, that's about it. But, you know, I haven't <laughs> prepared everything now for, for this short time. So uh, this is the intro. Uh, here it is. Okay. I remember oh, you sent it. We saw it. Yeah, okay. This is the other one. Uh, you told me that the first one wasn't so good. It wasn't so visible. So I've prepared this other one, but I don't know <laughs> if it's good enough. Okay. That's good. Uh, so... uh, should be a bit of a teaser, but I don't have the whole teaser. I didn't. Uh, I've never done it before. Okay. So, so what what is happening right now is um, in your Zoom. Um, yeah, so that it's it's uh, like mirror mirrored, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't. What know what, why. what I wanted to explain is because we are using Zoom and we are not using uh, YouTube or Instagram. Right now, we only hear the audio that you've selected with your Zoom. Okay. Um, so, for example, in your Zoom settings, you have different audio settings. Uh, we can see it on the lower left part of our Zoom interface. There's an audio. And when we click on it, we have select a microphone. Okay. And then Same. on select a microphone, uh, what is selected for you? A microphone Realtek High Definition Audio, but I have another one, uh, same as system. Microphone okay. Realtek, it's the same. Yeah. So um, if you were broadcasting on YouTube or Instagram, we would hear the sound of your intro, the sound of all your medias as you play them. Okay, most, uh, I most... have another question about that. Yeah. Um, I also don't hear the sound, but uh, do I uh, need to um, check this in advanced audio properties? Yes, uh, first check in, in, yeah, let's see what you have. It's the this audio input capture. So yes. uh, I should put he, put this he, here, right? Like monitor only and monitor and output. So let you try monitor and output. Okay. Uh, I still don't hear the sound of the of the intro. Yeah, the, the, the truth is you can uh, you first um, go back to uh, off, go back to your advanced audio settings. In fact, the truth is you cannot play it back through Zoom. Okay, okay. But I don't hear, hear it here as well. Monitor okay, but off. I'm, I'm also listening through Zoom right now. Okay, F first put monitor okay. off monitor on your audio input off. capture. Okay. And then you're going to put your yeah, monitor off. Then you're going to put your desktop audio. You're going to put monitor. Uh, you change your setting of your desktop audio. OK. Try to put um, monitoring uh, on. Desktop, OK. Yeah. Monitor. Like the output monitor, or... monitor and output, monitor and output. Okay. Uh, then you close. Okay. 
now uh, I want to see what okay click on uh, intro okay, this is the intro okay uh, right click on it D below properties properties okay Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Now you're going to uh -huh, press okay. Uh, increase your desktop audio to zero dB in the middle. Uh, this one. Yeah. To the to increase, okay? Yeah. Do, do you hear anything here? No. Still not, huh? Still nothing. Cut to it. Press cut on it. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's, it's because... Um, there is uh, something to be installed on OBS, which is called, uh, so, so as we can use the desktop audio with Zoom, which is called, um, let me tell you in a second, it is called Cable Output. Uh, but right now, this setup would work if you would be using YouTube or Instagram. But with Zoom, it's a bit complex to be able to play back the sound of medias. So we are all good. Um, show us your other scenes, camera, split screen one, and video. OK. OK, this is the camera. and. Uh... Uh, since I don't have another source, I have only this one. I tried to improvise about different angle of this camera, as you showed us last uh, last time. Okay. Um, so I made something uh, of. Um, but first, let let me ask: Do I need this uh, audio input here, or? No, I don't think you're using the audio of. Explain to me your audio setup. Do you you just have um, you're using the audio of your webcam, right? Yes. Yes. So you should. I don't think don't, you need that. Don't need. Okay. Okay. I can t erase that. Uh, then I I try to make something make something like a split screen. Supposing that I I can um, I know that I can install the the um, uh, that um, what's it called uh, application for the camera of the phone but I didn't uh, get to do it yet yeah so I try to make uh, something like maybe this th there will be something here so you know like <laughs> okay. the the possibility of uh, of doing that so, okay so uh, now what Okay, what happened is, um, uh huh, do it again. Okay, all right. So you see, it, it kind of uh, freezes a bit everything. Yes, this one froze as well. <laughs> because now, on, on your scene split screen one, you're meant to insert scenes, but not you should not insert again a video capture device. Okay. Okay. Meant... So it freezes one, so it act activates only one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you you really need to insert scenes rather than reinserting the same video capture because it's not going to work that way. Okay. And here I have the the videos. I don't know if they can be heard right now if I uh, cut it. Yes, we can please. try actually. So, um, 
This is the other scene. I don't know if you hear something because I don't. No, we don't. Uh, there is a sound to it. Maybe yeah. th that's because of my computer, similar to Borna. I don't have a very good computer. But uh, I actually did this in Da Vinci yesterday. Uh, so okay. I tried to, to uh, play a bit with this close-up that you saw for, for a while. So uh, I have here another one. Okay. This is... They all have their own sound, so yes. I'm sorry you cannot hear that. Um, and these are the my performances, uh, the presentations of the book that I uh, actually did all by myself with the help of some people um, uh, around me uh, that uh, that were doing uh, that were like engineers, light engineers, sound engineers, and everything that I could I couldn't be in front and behind the camera and the sound. Yeah. So did you so, brief them before of what you uh, wanted? We, uh, I, I did uh, all of that was uh, the minimal concept uh, using a lot of improvisation. So, yeah. for example, this video was prepared and uh, everything else was pre prepared only uh, uh, before the, the, the performance. So, for example, the, the light engineer here, uh, knew uh, which lights to use, like introducing which scene. So it was like a very, very short briefing uh, only um, before the, the, the performance. And uh, I did the concept, the scene, the costume, the music, uh, the book, of course, poetry is mine the props and everything by myself. So uh, I also did have some uh, musicians that were um, that were helping me. Uh, okay. I, I actually, um, I had, yes, that's, uh, I think I actually included <laughs> Uh, one that's not um, it it uh, connected the same video it happens to me like uh, it happens to me uh, in OBS that uh, it actually uh, makes um, uh, adds the same video as I already did add so I'm not sure what what actually happens uh, for uh, example I... if I try to add another one Yes. Uh, media source, uh, for example, um, or one. The problem comes when you import two times the same sources in, in OBS. You can never import two times the same sources. Because if you do so, uh, then one of the two scenes or the, will, will stop as the other will work. No, no. Uh, during the 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 um, the adding like this, it yeah. actually added the same source. So let's try. Ah, okay, it. okay. I understand. And maybe. Okay, cut to it, or start it. Yeah, I'm cut to it. That looks beautiful. Yes, this is the Belgrade performance. So this is me like uh, doing movement. Uh, okay. we, the the video was made by uh, by my friend. Uh, he's a videographer and um, the um, director. And yeah. uh, this uh, was was inspired by my poetry and my book. And this is my friend. She was the guest and she was playing violin. I had also some friends that were. Uh, including this is uh, this is also my friend uh, dancer, okay. and this is me so, obviously, and okay. um, this is so, from the previous performance. Um, one question: When you're on your video scene, 
click okay. on your video scene. Okay. On your on on your laptop, is it playing back well or it is also slow the playback? Uh, it is playing well. Uh, it is playing well. Okay. Yeah, I like guess it's cut... my computer. Yeah. Okay. It because not... it's better uh, when you have a scene with multiple picture, it's okay. But to have a scene with multiple videos might cause some problems. So it's better okay. to have different scenes like video one, video two, and you place your medias in each scene rather than okay. having multiple videos in one scene. Okay, okay. All right, okay. thank you, Yasna. Yeah, thank you. I'm not sure why I don't hear, I'm still not sure why I don't hear the videos here. But... Okay, so now you will try that when you're not with Zoom. Do you hear? Uh, do you hear? Uh -huh. The sound. In, in... When you're not connected to Zoom, you will try, uh, but it should work when you're not connected to Zoom. Okay, okay. Okay, okay thank um, you. You're welcome. So let's go. You can stop your screen sharing. Uh, who wants to go next and show us uh, his or her OBS settings? Andrew, are you ready? Sonia, are you ready? I'm ready. So I will okay. share my screen. Super. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you well. Okay, I have, uh, I tried to import uh, some video from YouTube and actually I, I managed it. Just a oh. moment. You're using the browser, okay? Yes. So and, you're, uh, I you... do the cropping. Okay. And uh, you couldn't, uh, I, I believe you, you couldn't uh, recognize that it is from, uh, from uh, YouTube because I, uh huh, but I don't have, uh, just a moment, I don't have audio now, just a sec. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. So let's go, let's go scene by scene. Show us what you have in, uh, so you have your, you have one camera right now? Okay. Um, I have two. Uh, this from uh, from uh, laptop and the uh, the other one outside. Okay. Welcome. So <laughs> okay, I have a title. Um, it's a uh, text. Maybe I'll show it. Okay, I have a... supposed to be this one. I guess it worked for Zoom and now it Okay, so show me your camera one scene. Oh, you mean you're shooting outside? This is uh, outside your place, huh? Yes, on the balcony, and I hope it is. Uh, uh, there is no rain. <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay. <laughs> okay, super. 
Uh, uh, with uh, that Irion, uh, Irion, Irion software we talk about last time. Okay, that's it. I had the idea to uh, to record record from my apartment down there because yeah. there is a movement. Yes. Uh, and I do that. And uh, this title is also about that bird view. I show you. I, yeah, I, but yeah. the playback is and really slow. Is, is, is it the same on your computer when you, you play, play again your title and send it into your program out? It is very slow. Or is it no that that's the way it is, huh? The texture inside because... the texture inside the letters is not moving, right? No, it go up. Okay, great. And... Perfect, okay. perfect. Okay, and, so uh, mm -hmm. yes, tell me, show me again. Since, uh, since I it's... I mean I I have some photos and video I didn't uh, I didn't prepare. I have a lot of material, but I haven't prepared uh, okay. how it look during the day or what happened so, with the traffic. I what is that material? It's captured uh, by my phone and also okay. by my phone uh, through Irion, like, uh, like uh, that outside camera now. But mm. there is no possibility to change the scene uh, you show us, uh, like you show us last time through this series. I have a problem with cameras and also I have a problem with microphones. I think I couldn't, uh, I couldn't uh, put it. Like, I I think I have a similar problem like uh, Yasna. Okay, so now um, you're saying you cannot, you cannot, you, you're talking about your phone, is it? Yes. So your phone is camera one, right? Yes. So you want, you would like to use, let's say, a zoom of camera one, right? Yes. As yes. another scene. So you're going to create a new scene. And tell me, I have a problem with uh, with that scene and scene. Okay, now I I create another scene. Yes, please. Okay, I have it. You're going but to call it. You're going to call it. So your first scene, you you could call it uh, outside outside view, street view, okay. let's say. Okay. Street view wide. Mm. It's okay. Street view wide or wide street view? Street view wide. It's okay. Wide street. Okay. Then uh, you create a scene which will which will be called uh, street view close or close street view or close up street view. Okay. So you're go in into that scene. You're going to insert a scene. A scene, okay. Uh, which is which is called White Street View, exactly. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. And, and now you're going to zoom in. And then. So you don't need okay I think you can you can close that okay <laughs> and you can just you can zoom with the red um, directly from the picture yeah from the red parts and you can zoom on uh, any any part you want expand expand and then you know select the part that you want to focus on I think, yeah, that's... Okay, I get it. 
So again, if you do not do that, if you reinsert your your same phone, it will not work. But if you insert a scene in a scene, you can do multiple crops and multiple angles with one camera. Uh, can you help me? How I will ins insert the other scene like this? F first, wait. First, wait. Now this one you can replace it. You can uh, you can scroll a bit, yeah, with your to replace it a bit better. You see, you have too much black on your right, yeah. But okay, perfect. Dark. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So now. Oh. Okay. Okay. I will... Okay. Let's do it like that. So now, what could you do here? Let, let's experiment a bit with um, with the aesthetic of it. For example, you're going to insert a, some filters. Let's see what filters we can play around with. So you go into plus on the lower. Yeah. Some some zoom uh, cover my okay my, uh, so okay, oh we can so now did did you load some LUTs or i have some but i yeah. actually don't know what uh, maybe we, you we can mm -hmm. oh, let, let's do the color correction Then you can play around. Let, let, let's try to brighten that scene a bit. Maybe with the gamma a bit. So of course, after that's up to you, you could create a very strange atmosphere, a very strange. Uh, maybe you could, you could have uh, either super dark or in the, in the other way, you could uh, brighten it. So if you brighten it, you need to upper the contrast as well. Yeah, and then I don't know. It's it's for you to to decide what aesthetic you want to go to. Okay. Okay, you I will. As well, you could as well change the colors. And remember what we talked about. This also this color multiply, color add. You can play around with these settings. Okay. But that that can be great as well. Um, that's a good idea for the intro of the of the play, uh, whereby people could see the the streets uh, where where we are, where the where the theater is, and um, they could still see uh, as the audience is coming in. Mm -hmm. It could uh, um, the viewers could could see maybe before the play starts online, as people can connect a bit earlier and we can still see the the people coming in the theater and that could be an idea as well for for an intro of a program to have these street views okay uh, just uh, uh, about this scene in scene now i have one scene okay yeah. uh, it's a little bit brighter yeah okay it's not good quality but i have moving what I like yeah. it. how uh, I could make do I make split screen in this uh... no so you have that scene and then you have your first scene click again on your white street view okay so you see it is cutting very well both of them are really when when we have that white cut to a close, it's, it's, it's working very well. Yes, we, now we made this close one. Yes. yes. Uh, okay, okay. You, so you can have another, you could have different parts. You, you could uh, have another scene whereby you have, again, that same street view, but an, a close up of the street view, but another part of the of the um, of the white shots for example instead yes, of focusing uh, on the upper I'm, right you could focus on something else mm -hmm. like this for instance
Yes. You select again the whites. Uh, yeah. Now to, to to put in the center this tree. Exactly. You could do that. Like this, for instance, or maybe some filters or something. Yeah. So okay. if you want something which is artistic or if you want to play around with textures, you could, uh, let me see. You could also have another scene that is purely moving textures that you would have recorded previously, which could be, for example, uh, some lights of the streets through uh, the leaves of the tree, for example. And you could mm -hmm. superimpose it sometimes with one of the shots. Just mm -hmm. an idea like that. Um, so now I want to understand why your camera 2 is not working. Let, click on camera 2. Ah, the, that's the one I, I believe you can see me now. OK. Maybe some of this. Just... So the... I think you try to remove it and you reinsert it and we see. Okay. No, it's, uh, yeah, you select your... Web. It's not working still, huh? No, but you see this red. Yeah, you show me. FPS, video yeah, yeah. form. Yeah, you, you show me what's there. We don't see when you click, but uh... change the resolution FPS type. Okay. Instead it's... of device default, uh, go to something else. Custom. Custom. Uh huh. Resolution. Yes, press on resolution. So you just put the maximum 640 by 480. It was like that. Then um, match output FPS, okay. Video format, click on video format. And okay, what what you could try to do is on your Zoom. Sorry, this you, is no. okay. Okay, you select. OBS virtual camera on your Zoom. Very ideal. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. so. Inside your Zoom, you select video OBS virtual camera. Yes, I did, and I disappear. Yeah, and now you select, um, you, you, you go to your OBS. And check now if uh, you can uh, reinsert that camera.
Still not showing. Ah, oh, perfect. I'm here. Okay. All right. Okay, so. You're, you're now going to switch to different scenes, yeah? In your program out. Okay. Well, this one is the first. So let, let's, yeah. let's assume we are, going to, we are going to start with the wide street view. Then we will cut to the close tree street view. Then we will okay. cut to the close street view. And then we will fade to camera two. Okay. So you're going to put them in order. The you're going so to. You... Uh huh. Uh... So, so as it's a bit easier. Okay. Okay, sorry, let's start with the title and then we go to the street views and then we we go to we will finish with the camera. Um, remember, so you have in the middle you have your transition, you have your cuts, but that time let's have a super long fade between the street view on your camera. So you're going to change the duration of the fade to, let's say, 10 seconds, meaning, I think, uh, 10,000 milliseconds. 10,000, let's see if it can go there. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. But Just... you forget seconds are in... Uh... I know, millisecond. Okay, okay. I mean, because it's 60, it's not a decade system, but millisecond it is. Do it should be okay like that. that. So, remember, oh yeah. So, prepare your, load your intro. And we are going to start the intro, we are going to start the program in 10, Nine, eight, seven, oh, five, four, three, two, one. Action. <gasps> Let's we are going to cut in two to the three view in two, one action. Nice. Okay, prepare your next your next street view. Prepare your next street view in your preview. Yeah. Cut. Cut to it. Okay. And now load your camera two in your preview. Camera two, yeah. Let's go slow and then you're going to press fade when I tell you in five, four, three, two, one. Fade. Now you can present yourself. Hi, my name is Sonia. I believe we met before. I'm very grateful and happy to meet Cyril and all participants on this course. And I hope I did it well. I enjoy it today because uh, I play with this OBS all day and yesterday. Thank you, Sonia. Thank well done. You. Um, so who is next? Who is ready to show us uh, what he has prepared with his OBS? Is Andrew ready? No, not today. I think not today because I couldn't like get my computer with me. Okay. So you you what about next week? Next Saturday, will you be ready? Yes, I will be. Thank you. Uh, who else can show us 
what he or she has prepared. Dragana, do you have something for us? No, I'm not with the computer now. Oh, okay. Can you prepare something for next week? Yes, I promise. Thank you. Ivan, are you there? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, great. Uh, do you have your OBS ready? I have it, but um, I don't, I don't, I don't have a lot of things here. Only two cameras and uh, a picture. That's fine. I'm still no, no worries. That's all right. You can share your you can share your screen. You can share your setup, your OBS interface. Okay, let me just try to. Mm. No. You press on share, and you should have uh, an option okay. to share your OBS. Or your screen. Perfect. Okay, great. So I have um, this camera, the laptop camera, close. Yeah. I have it far. Um, I have the my mobile too. Thanks to to our colleague. <laughs> Super. Also, I have a logo. That's the, uh -huh. the company I work with. All right. And I have a split video. Okay, super. Uh, show me again your your phone scene. The phone is uh, which one? This one. Okay. So you do not have the 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 logo of the app on it, huh? or sometimes it comes and goes. Yes, yeah, sometimes it it comes and goes. Okay. I have uh, I have noticed that. Okay, okay, cool. So, uh, who wants to direct uh, Ivan? Is one of you, does one of you wants to uh, ask, to direct and to, to ask him to switch to different sources? Show us what you have in your in your logo. Logo. Okay. okay this one shouldn't. Okay. Yes. Yes. I should have uh, a scene with logo and image here, and this one shouldn't be here. Just just the logo should be just the logo. Yeah. Let Let's assume this is the intro of our program, mm -hmm. so you can you can uh, put the that scene first. That scene could come uh, at the top. Okay. Uh, what else? So you have your phone, uh -huh, PC, PC close. Okay. And then you split. Okay. So what you can do is um, on your split video, you're going to right click on your video capture yeah then you go to filter i have a filter here oh, okay i downloaded I was, this one okay i was thinking that aesthetically uh -huh. it would be good if you look towards the other side uh this side yeah, like uh, first close that uh, window. No, 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 not, oh, okay. not your window outside. <laughs> just uh... <laughs> okay. Sorry. No, Sorry. you see here your upper left video would mm -hmm. be cool if you if you look to the other side. It will make a yeah, more balanced uh, split screen, right? Is there so a way either... to mirror it or? Yeah, either you do it uh, directly on the red the parts and you just drag and drop the the left part 
Mm -hmm. Okay, let's assume you want to leave it on the left. Okay. That's okay, that's okay. Is it better that way? I, I, I guess it's a bit better, but go back the way it was. I wanted to show you something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the upper left, click on the upper left. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Now you click on the, on the right part of that picture. On the right, uh, sorry, you, you, you're going to click. I, I want you to invert it mm -hmm. without going to the filter settings. So you're going to, to drag and drop this, this stuff, yeah? And position it, but the other way around. You try to do that? Oh, to, how, how do you, I don't know, I didn't understand. Uh, let me just uh, check on something. On my splits. Okay. Yeah, so possibly you try to... I could do this, uh, this one? Transform. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Way. All right, that's okay. that's that's good. Okay, so um, let's assume that we so we start with the logo. Then what else? We go then to the phone PC. Okay, we'll just go in that order. Could I change uh, this one too? Yeah, by the way. No, that's okay. That's okay. okay. It's okay. Uh, what 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 could we do elsewise as um, as other effects? What loot did you put? Sorry? You tried to I, match I the two cameras. I didn't understand. Sorry. What did you put? Some LUTs. The LUTs that you've put. Ah, they the were, what? It 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 was a uh, I found it in on the internet. It was a film LUT. Okay. Show us the picture with and without LUTs. So as we we see the the difference. Um. Well, let's see. No, I mean you. Yeah, no, you you should press on them so as we see the normal picture, without the LUTs. So you press. you can click on the eyes so as you it, just click on the eyes to yet. there. Ah, okay. Yeah. So. Okay. So it's okay. Different. So you see the second one is not really okay. Necessary. It's not working out. I don't know why. Yeah. We just did it. Uh, all right. Okay. But this cool. one. Okay. It's okay. You can close. Um. So, did you put it on your front view as well, on your PC? Oh, on, on the phone uh, or the PC, let me see. I think so. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah. Okay. It has a cool. different name, but it, it is the same. I think it's the same loot. Okay. Cool. This one, this one I found on the internet. All right. <clears throat> okay, super. Okay. So let's start with uh, with your logo. We are going to start in. Uh, you can preload it. Yeah, fade to black. Mm -hmm. So let's assume ah. there's nothing on your screen. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Now um, you can add a trans. You can add a fade transition instead of having two times a cut. You can have the first one is a cut. The second one should be a fade transition. Yeah. And you, you can change, you can, uh, it's okay, we can have a quick fade like that, it's fine. But you can increase oh, yeah, your fade to black. Your fade to black could be maybe 5,000 milliseconds. 
Okay. So what you're going to do, I will I will count down and I will say action at that time you will show the logo. Mm -hmm. Then uh we will go scene by scene and at the end of the the last split video will just fade to black. Okay, so okay. we start the program in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, action. Let's have a cut to the phone in five, four, three, two, one, action. Now prepare your next scene, prepare your PC scene. We'll cut in three, two, one, action. Now we, there's something wrong. Cut, cut to the next scene, cut to the next scene, PC close. Okay. Yes. And then in five, four, three, two, one, action splits. Okay, that's good. So now you're going to go back to the phone scene in five, four, three, two, one, action. Okay. And then we are going to finalize our broadcast with a fade to black in two, one, action. All right, thank you. Well done. Thank you. You can stop uh, your screen sharing. Uh, Okay. Um, who else can show us is obvious? Doreen, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Very fine. So tell me, are you, do you have your um, OBS open? Uh, yeah, I have my OBS open, but uh, I'm not that ready because I've been studying on the phone. Okay. Now today that I have a laptop, everything is so different. So <laughs> No problem. Uh, what you're going to do, do you have a webcam with you? Yes, I just have only a webcam. Okay, so you're going to share your screen and to share your OBS uh, screen? Uh, just a minute. I have a very slow, slow extremely slow so remember you need in zoom you should have your video set to um your video set to obs virtual camera yes but uh i'm not seeing where to share my screen from so you you have uh, in zoom you have an icon share or you you should have um oh did you stop sharing uh yes yes stop sharing let me see <clears throat> let me share my screen This is uh, the share button. Can you see the share button on my screen? Uh, the one that has annotated. Yeah, it is. It like is usually. Pen. It has a pen pen icon. No, 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 no. 
On the mm. left, there is share. Left of annotate, there is pause, and then there is share. Do you see that? No, I cannot see it on my... I cannot mm -hmm. see it. Okay, now do you see your video icon? Do you see yes. the, there is audio yes. and video? You, you press on video. Okay, then uh, and yes. Then you select OBS virtual camera. Okay. Have you selected OBS virtual camera? Yes. Mm, it should it should actually appear if you if you if you press on OBS virtual camera from the video icon in Zoom, we should have either your camera active or a picture stipulating it's written OBS virtual camera. Yeah, I'm clicking on it, but I don't know why it's. So tell me, when you click on video, it's written select a camera, right? Select camera, then integrated camera. Uh huh. Then? OBS virtual camera. Yes, when you click on OBS virtual camera, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Okay, I don't know what to tell you now. Um, and what about your screen sharing you can't share? Let me stop my share. So you try, you try, you, they should be on your Zoom below mm -hmm. at the bottom, on the lower yeah. part of the screen. They should be yeah. share next, next to res and you click on share. Um... Then as you click on share, it's going to ask you um, I cannot share. I see. I see audio, video, participant, chat, react. Oh, okay. I can see it. Mm -hmm. You click on share and you let me know what you see. It mm. it should sh you you share your screen, or you share OBS Studio. My OBS Studio. Mm -hmm. Share. Okay. Is it sharing? Um, we don't see what you're sharing, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Let me go we, 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 we are seeing uh, black. Okay, it is now okay. Perfect. All right, so... Show us what you have in your intro scene. Is it sharing so I, now? Yeah, yes, it's sharing. It's okay. We are seeing you now. And we are seeing two scenes. We are seeing intro and scene one. Yes. So um, show us what you have in intro. You have your video capture device and your audio input capture. Okay. What I about have just one. I have one camera, so I don't know if both scenes should show the same. Okay. What about scene one? What do you have in scene one? When you click on scene one. Oops. Click on scene one below intro. Okay. That scene, there's nothing. Huh? Yes, there's nothing. Um, let me try to do something on my side. I wanted to check if there was no message as well or comments. Okay. Um, let me see. Because now you have removed your scene. Uh, Okay, double click on intro. Okay, now what you're going to do, you see in the 
in in between your preview and program scene you have transition fade fade to black and cut all right you're going yeah, to cut fade, fade, fade to black and cut yes you can cut okay uh you see your window on the where there are the two different scenes you can um You can move in towards the left, your, the window which is written scenes where you have intro and scene one. Move it towards the left. <coughs> this? The one below, you have intro and scenes. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's, you've removed this of the interface. Let me just try to find a solution for that. If we are in view, reset UI. Yeah, you're going to go to view. On the upper left, you have file, edit, and view. You, you go to view. Yes. And you're going to click on reset UI. Then you say yes. Okay. Now we are we are okay now. Now you're going to in your scene one, you're going to add a scene. So scene one, you're going to click on the plus to add a scene. The, the plus on the right in your sources. On sources? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here? Yes, cancel. Yeah. Uh huh. Then you're going to add a scene. You, yeah, scene. You put scene. Say again. You put scene. Add scene. That? Then you, then you, you click on add existing intro. Uh huh. You click on intro and you press OK. Okay, now uh, this one you can zoom on it. Yes, enlarge so as we have a close up of your face. Actually, we want just to have your eyes in the scene. We want a real close-up where we only see your eyes. So you're going to scroll a bit. Is that okay? You try to zoom it more. Okay, now we are going to assume that um, you're going to simulate like um, a transmission problem, that our program will start with a transmission problem. Let's say that this is uh, an, art an artistic choice. So you're going to right click on your scene one. And you're going to add a filter. So right click and filter.
My thing is very slow. Okay. It's okay. Uh, right click on it. You should have a number of words which appears. Uh huh. You click on filters now. Yes. Click on filters. Then here, you reduce a bit the size of your window. So as you can add your filters, because right now the plus is, or oh, click on the bottom left plus. Yeah. You're going to select scroll. Yeah. Press OK. And then you can change the vertical speed. To how many? Um, let's say uh, minus 50. Okay, perfect. Then you can close. Uh, so you can put that one as uh, the first scene to start the program. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to place it as the first scene. So you, you're going to drag it above intro and you can rename it as... Uh, you can rename it as intro and then so you see, your scene one should be above intro. Oh. And your intro should be in number two. No, 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 no. OK. OK, you can rename it as uh, camera, camera one. Okay, and then your scene one, you will rename it as intro. All right. So now your scene, which is named intro, should be placed above camera one. So you can click on the on the arrow, for example, there's that small arrow which goes towards up, you can click on it. This? The arrow which is the fourth icon. There's a, like a, an arrow pointing up, you have a plus, then you have a dustbin, then you have filters, then you have an arrow pointing up. That arrow, that kind of triangle pointing up, you press on it. You click on it. This? Now, on the lower left of your picture, you have a plus, right? On the lower left. Yes, then next to it, you have a dustbin. Next to it, you have a, uh, a square. Then you have like that kind of arrow sign. You, you, you press on the arrow sign. Mm hmm I don't see uh, you doing anything, but um, let's let's change. Uh, go go to your fade to black in the middle between preview and program. Yeah, you have fade to black. So now you're going to put a fade to black of uh, five thousand milliseconds. Mm -hmm. Wait. 
doing that. Oh, good. I don't know why it's doing this. <laughs> Um, wow. Yeah, okay. Now you can insert 5,000. You can... Uh... Okay. All right. So remember, now you're going to press to click on fade to black. Okay, because the program will start in black, right? And then we are, so prepare your intro, okay. Now your intro, you see on the left, your, your intro scene, I want you to drag and drop it above camera one. Yes, drag and drop it above camera one, so as, yes. All right, okay. So now what you're going to do is, you will press the cut button. We will start the program in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, yeah. 5, 4, 3. Just a minute, two. please. What am I pressing? <laughs> the cut. Okay. <laughs> or you could press on fade. Let's start with the fade. Actually, you're going to change your fade setting. You're going to put. 2000 milliseconds and we, we are going to start off with a fade uh-huh put 2000 here okay 2000 not 200 2000 actually you're going to put the longest fade possible you can even put uh, 20,000 add one zero Okay, perfect. Click somewhere else. Okay, so now you're going to press the fade in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Action! Okay, now you prepare your camera one scene. So you click on camera one so, so as to load it on your preview and you're going to cut to it in five four three two one action cut then you will finish with a fade to black in five four three two one fade All right. Thank you so much. You can stop the screen sharing. Stop uh, your screen sharing. All right. We are still here. Great. <laughs> Thank you, Doreen. Welcome. So uh, let me know what you would like. Uh, next, next week is the last session. Um, is there something that you want to um, that you want to that you want me to explain again, or something else that I have not explained that you want to know more about? Uh, let it be about OBS, let it be about maybe the marketing, like the, uh, the, the marketing campaign of how to advertise um, a, uh, a streaming, or it could be also how to prepare uh, the different types of angles. I don't know, what, 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 should, I what should we focus on on the last session? If we can practice more about OBS. Yeah, that, that would be great. So right now, next week, we will see a bit more things. We, we didn't really use the, the, the scene uh, 
the scene view, the multi view. But that would be great for Yasna, Sonia, Ivan, and Doreen to prepare something uh, even better than today, uh, whereby you have more possibilities of switching. So as we have a bit more scenes, and then we will use now the multi-view function. And then for the others, um, I am also going to share tomorrow uh, how, how for you to use the sound of media in, uh, in Zoom and OBS, because right now we had some sound uh, problem with medias. I'm going to, to make a, a mini tutorial tomorrow and to upload it and to share it on the WhatsApp group. So as you can see how to add, so how, to, how you can do that. Um, yes, the others you should uh, you should prepare to do the same as we did today, and um, I think that's that that was good. I'm happy to see that you've prepared some things. I am uh, a bit uh, disappointed that there were not more people. I think some people were afraid. Maybe I don't know. Because the previous lessons, I think we were like approximately 15. But now today we were quite a low number. So I don't know uh, what happened exactly. I don't know if it's the change of time. All in all, thank you for participating. And uh, have a great weekend. And see you at the last lesson. Oh, yes, please. Um... So uh, you're saying that uh, we will be able to uh, to include audio in our presentation next time. Yes. Yes. So thank I'm, you so much. I'm going to uh, to make a small uh, tutorial that I will post tomorrow about uh, just a PDF presentation of how to install the the add-on, and uh, you will try it out. So okay. what you and... will do? What you be what you will do to be sure that it works, you are going to run OBS and Zoom at the same time. You will create a Zoom meeting for yourself. And you will record that Zoom meeting. So as when you play back and you record, when you will play back your recording, you will know if actually uh, the media, the, the sound was played back or not. Because sometimes you might not hear it, but it's actually being sent to Zoom. Or sometimes you might hear it and it's not sent to Zoom. So it's always good to, make, to, to run some tests before the broadcast in the same settings as the broadcast will be. You record yourself and then you play back and you see the challenges you faced and what you can improve and what worked and what did not. So yeah, that's the plan. I Before have another week. question. Yes, please tell me. But uh, it is not uh, linked to OBS, but to Da Vinci. Yes. I had problem with my with changing my frame rate. As, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. We, uh, actually, in my Da Vinci, I don't have the option of changing it to twenty five uh, frames. Mm. It's set to, uh, I have only three options, so it's uh, uh, 24, 29, and uh, I don't know what's, what's the third one. So uh, I was wondering uh, uh, why it's happening. Uh, let, me, let me start Da Vinci. Is that the, the same that you have? You, you're also on Windows, huh? Or... Yes. Yes. Let me see. Uh, new project. I create a new project. So I am not uh, a daily user of DaVinci. I use mostly Adobe Premiere, but let's try to find the solution. 
Um, project settings. Here, you, okay, you've seen what I did. I did into um, file and okay. then project, project settings. Okay. And then you have um, here, you have timeline resolution and you have timeline frame rates. Here you can change to 25. And you press save. Okay. Thank you. Once you press save, if we create a new timeline now, I, I right click here, I create a new timeline. Create. Oh, sorry. Let me let me delete it. Again, I right click, create new timeline. And you see here it's written use project settings. When you create a new timeline, there's a click on use project settings. So if you use the project settings, most likely it will be 25 because I have set the project setting in 25. If I unclick use project setting and I go to format, I can still change here my timeline as well. You see that? But the good thing is to first do the project in the frame rate you want, and then you use the same project settings for your timeline. Thank All you right. so much. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So have a good weekend and see you next week. Bye-bye.